All right, so today I'm gonna be changing out my uh, outer tie rods and possibly put these uh, new inner tie rods in. I don't have uh, the proper tool to put these in. I'm gonna try with the crescent wrench, but if I can't get it out, I'm just gonna uh, install the outer tie rods and the new uh, boots, bellows boots. And uh, actually, if I don't get to put these in, it's okay because I think my uh, rack is already leaking and it's shot. So instead of renting a tool or buying a hundred dollar tool to install these, I could just uh, put these in. It'll last me uh, a while, put some tires on there until I change the rack later on. Oh yeah, and also my uh, brakes. I've been getting like a funny smell lately of uh, just something to do with the brakes. I don't know, they're getting real hot. I think they're uh, sticking. So I'm gonna uh, re-lube the brake pins and see if uh, anything's wrong with them. All right, so you could see pretty wet in there. The fluid's actually leaking. And you could see that, how it's all busted. There's a lot of grime in there. I'm, I'm gonna try to clean inside as, as good as possible. And uh, these actually look pretty shot too. I know the other one is like almost completely off too. So like uh, since the other one's shot, I'm going to replace both of them. And since I'm going to put the new tires and alignment, I just might as well uh, get this out of the way before alignment. And uh, put a new boot in there. So if anything, I'm just going to try and take this boot out. And uh, clean that joint up measure the length right here and pop in the new uh, tie rod, outer tie rod. But I'm going to try and take this out first. If I can, I can. If I cannot, then it's okay. Alright guys, so I took off the the outer uh, tie rod and uh, I'm just like inspecting it. It turns easy and it goes up and down easy and stuff. But I'm trying to pull it in and out. And there's no actual play. I mean, it's, it's looser than it should be, but there's no play. So, therefore, so I'm trying to pull it. I'm just going to change the, uh, the outer tie rod and the boot. I cleaned it up as good as possible. I'm going to put some grease in it. And, uh, and then put the boot in. And then count the threads. And then uh, change the, the tie rod. But probably the only thing is getting back in there to take take off that clip. But uh, let's try that though. All right. So basically, how I have this, I just have a screwdriver, kind of a long screwdriver, like a 12 inch flathead, and it's going to the rear clamp of the bellows boot. And I'm basically just gonna shove it in and pry and try and break the clamp free. guys so to be completely honest I've been going at this for about 10 or 15 minutes and uh, I basically had to cut the boot out to gain better access and you can see that little air hose right there so when it compressed it uh, pushes the air to the other side because it's like pretty much an accordion and uh, yeah, I basically had to cut it, sl slice it down this way, rip it off, and now I can actually feel the uh, the little locking part of the clamp, and that's how I'm gonna take it off. So I'm, I might be struggling with this for another 15 minutes, we'll see. All right, so what I basically did, stuck my screwdriver in there, got in between. So now you can see I could pretty much take it off from there slide it off and take the locking ring off kind of a bad angle everything's greasy and leaking but uh this rack is pretty much pretty sure done hopefully it's like a hose leak i gotta look more into it let's see if i can get a good angle
and there's the ring right there. There you have it. There's a locking ring, and there's the rest of the boot. Now I can take it off. You can also see right here, I finally found it. So, so that side was uh, pretty shot too. Sorry for my grimy ass fingers, but yeah, that's the part that was leaking. And the other side is uh, twice as shot too. So here's a good uh, little comparison. Old one versus the new one. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look like it's gonna work pretty good. The other side right here, it's right there. And now it's actually uh, going in there and tightening this piece, which is going to be kind of the hassle. I could probably get some uh, needle nose or something and pinch that. We'll see. All right, so after I uh, counted the threads and uh, checked out both of the uh, tie rods, everything uh, seems pretty good. It seems like an exact match. I cleaned uh, that gear all the way back there. Just want to make sure you get all the grime out of there and uh, everywhere basically. And then before I put this boot on, I'm going to uh, put a little grease in there. And yeah, it should be good. I managed to use this uh, little factory clip that came off uh, the original. And it fits on the pretty good. This one came with the zip tie, so probably just end up using this, but yeah. And then I still have to uh, make sure that this little piece, I don't know if that's going to focus. Yeah, that piece goes back in that little hose back there and uh, just uh, connect it when it's done. Alright, so something I wanted to point out, which is kind of strange. I edit my grease. Let's see if I can get a good clip. I don't know why this camera doesn't focus, but yeah. I added my grease to it and it actually tightened up like before it will just go and then just drop but now it seemed like ever since I put fresh grease in there it tightened up putting a little grease inside here just so it'll slip on a little bit better so now I've got that the tube is on this side for this so all right put that on there I don't know if I'm gonna put this now or later I could probably slip it on there after it's gonna be a little notch you're gonna feel it settle in there and then now I'm gonna push it all the way on Alright guys, so I ended up taking out the clip and uh, just spreading it out like that because uh, with the clip already pre-installed, um, since the rack has a groove already in, like since the rack already has a groove already uh, on the rack body itself, to get this where it's semi on there already pre-installed, you can't really put it on the rack, slide it on. So I took it off altogether, so now I kind of like bent it out of shape just to make it over like that and then I'm gonna go over like that and then let it lock into those little clips but uh, overall it's uh, installed and it's looking pretty good and I just got to install this and uh, this outer clip all right guys so this is basically like a little run through I got I got it put in it looks pretty good uh, you cannot just slip this onto the rack like that. Also, if you put if you put it like that and you put it on the rack, you will not be able to squeeze it far enough, like far enough right there, to actually lock it in place. For some reason, I just wasn't enabled to uh, do that. Like, just put it in like that. So basically, what I have to do, I have to get the clip, expand it, and mess with that crimp right there.
just like that. So then, once it's on and it goes, you have a little bit more room to go like that and it should just snap right into the first groove. And then from there, you could grab it right there and actually pull it and it crimps it. And uh, just thought to figure that little trick out. It took me 25 minutes, but uh, it's actually in and it looks pretty good. All right guys, so I got the hose back there. I got the rear clamp. I got the front clip in there. I counted the threads. I gotta do the locking nut. Don't forget your uh, castle nut and uh, and yeah, the cotter pin and everything's installed perfectly good. Uh, just in case you didn't count your uh, your threads, you can always uh, leave your locking nut undone and uh, put the wheel back on, lower the car, get back under. Put your lug nuts, fasten everything, and get under with a 14 millimeter wrench. And you could always just uh, turn it in or out, whichever way direction it's looking. Make sure you uh, correct your steering wheel, and you can limp it over to uh, uh, to go get your alignment. And uh, you could just eyeball it. But yeah, so everything's in. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, the rear clip is probably the biggest tip I've uh, found out about. But yeah, all right guys, I'll see ya. And sure enough, I took uh, the caliper sliding pin out and uh, it was pretty grimy. If I had a wire wheel, it would be kind of cool, but I cleaned it as much as possible. I'm gonna put some uh, grease on there for uh, sliding pins. And uh, yeah, I really believe that uh, the caliper was getting stuck and kind of overheating the rotor in a way because I could tell that the brakes were getting really really hot so this goes to show you that uh, always uh, check your brakes and yeah and I kind of notice whenever you're on the highway a lot more um, you actually tend to uh, press the brake pedal for longer periods of times which actually heat up the brakes even more than if it's uh, stop and go because when it's stop and go, it kind of has uh, time to uh, cool down in between. But on highways, if you stop and you're uh, braking for a few hundred feet, it could uh, light these things up. But yeah, so check your brakes.